Hello and welcome to HBP Systems Limited Exchequer VAT Processing video. This video will guide you through how to prepare your VAT return within your Exchequer accounting package. The first thing to note is that VAT runs on dates. This is driven not by the date that you add each transaction, but the date that you enter onto the transaction header here. If you go into Utilities and VAT Setup, this will make it clearer. The last tax return date is the date of the last return that you closed within Exchequer. We will see how this works shortly. Tax return every is normally set to three months if your VAT runs quarterly, but you can have different VAT return period lengths if required. The current tax period is then populated based upon the above. Here you can see that the current VAT period is period 9-2018. It's important to note that this is in no way, shape or form related to your financial periods. This period is based on the yearly calendar. So a return ending 9-2018 is transactions dated July, August and September in this example. Also on this screen is where you'll see any VAT rates that you have set up and where you can add more if applicable. The goods tick switch here is a checkbox to determine whether transactions posted to this VAT code are to be included within the goods totals column on the VAT return. There are also some settings which allow you to enter your gateway details if you wish to submit directly online. It's important to note here that this is an XML file submission. We fully expect this to change when the Exchequer Making Tax Digital release is made available. There are also some buttons down the right hand side to allow you to close a VAT period and view the input and output history. And also view any submissions that have made been using the XML submission tool. We will go through closing and return shortly. As previously mentioned, the date that is entered onto each transaction will determine what VAT return it has been posted to. Note that these transactions are only stamped with a VAT date when they are debit posted, as at this point this is when the transaction will automatically post to your general ledger VAT input and output control account. You can view your VAT return report at any point in time to see which transactions have been posted to it by going to Reports, VAT Reports and VAT Return. Please note that on older versions of Exchequer, the VAT report is held within the MISC reports folder. Now, this is the report that you'll also run when you're ready to submit your VAT return. And this will default to your current VAT return period, but you can overtype this if you wish to reprint and review what's happened on an old return. The Include Order Payments tick box is dependent upon whether you're using the Order Payments module. This can be covered further by support if you believe you're using this module, but I know most of our customers do not, so I'll move over this for now and leave it unticked. You then have a tick box to close period after report. I would always advise leaving this unticked for now. Run your report and make sure that you're happy with your figures before coming back in and closing off the return. It is important to note here that the VAT returns cannot be reopened. If any transactions are added after the VAT return has been closed, they will automatically be included on the next open return. You then have a tick box to submit electronically to HMRC, and this is greyed out at the moment just because I don't have any XML um, HMRC portal details filled in. Um, this uses the details as discussed within the VAT setup screen a moment ago and submits via an XML file. So note that this process is not Making Tax Digital compliant. When Exchequer released the Making Tax Digital update early next year, it will use a different method of submitting the file because it has to submit via an API. However, the actual maintenance of running the VAT return within the Exchequer system is likely to stay the same. So it's important that you're using the VAT return within Exchequer currently and happy with your current VAT processes so that when Making Tax Digital comes in on the 1st of April, you don't have to review your current processing routine. So I'm just going to print this VAT return and print it to screen. Select screen here. So You'll see on the VAT return um, that it gives you a breakdown of all of the transactions that have gone to your input and output code. 
If any of the transactions have a star against them like this one here, it basically means this is an out of period transaction. So you can see the date of this transaction is May. So that shouldn't have really gone to this return, but this will have been added after the, that return that encompassed May had been closed, hence why it's gone into this new return here. So Exchequer works in a way that you will never miss a transaction from a VAT period. The last two pages of the VAT return provide you with a summary broken down by your input and output VAT and goods. And the last page provides you with a summary of the nine boxes that you would normally log onto the HME, uh, HMRC portal and rekey these figures into. It's important to note that if you need to adjust any of these nine figures here, what the HMRC are trying to get away from is, is the ability for you to be able to do this. So if you do need to make adjustments to any of your figures before you run your VAT re return, it should be done by raising a VATable nominal journal in the system, which will show in your input or output section on this report. If we just go back and have a look at an example, um, there is a nominal journal showing on here. Um, if we just have a look at that, we can see that we've actually specified VAT on this nominal journal so that we have a VAT amount here that's going to post to our input uh, control code. So for charities needing to make partial exemptions, a different process may need to be carried out, as currently you'll probably be running your VAT return to Excel, calcula calculating your partial exemptions, and then keying in the amended figures to HMRC. Now, um, as I specified before, the HMRC are trying to get away from you being able to amend these nine boxes. So, Advance are aware that many charities use Exchequer and therefore they will ensure that they um, allow the software to cater for this within their Making Tax Digital update. Once you've run the return and you're happy with the details, if you select Continue at the top of the screen, it will complete the VAT return wizard. At this stage, all we've done is print our report and we can print our report as many times as we like and we can print it to Excel as well. We haven't yet closed the return. It's important to note that closing the return is done at the exact point you've submitted your figures and that no other transactions are added to the return in between submitting the figures and closing the return. Otherwise, you're going to see a discrepancy on your VAT. So to close this return, you can either come back into VAT settings or run the report again and tick the box. So I'm just going to do that by going back into utilities and VAT setup. So you've got a, a, a box here to close the period. And as we tick that, you'll see that it'll run the VAT return again for you. Now, what we'll get is a, is a little a screen popping up, just giving us a warning to reiterate that closing this return means that you can no longer post transactions to it and that the return should only be closed once you're happy with all of the figures. If we select yes, the report's going to print again. And at this point, I'd advise making sure you print off the report and store it for audit purposes. You can print it to printer or screen. You can also do what you do with normal Exchequer reports and print it to Excel and give it a file destination as well. For the purpose of this exercise, I'm just going to print it to screen so that we can see the report. And again, selecting continue at the top of the screen and this time we've got the option to close the period. Now on newer versions of Exchequer, you'll also notice that as another backup, it creates a PDF file for you um, and it's put that into the reports folder of my Exchequer installation directory and saved a copy of that and you might want to back that up or print that out for, for audit purposes. If we go back into utilities and VAT setup, you'll now see that the VAT period has automatically moved on and that period is now set to 12 2018 so that's going to cover anything dated October, November and December 2018. So some of you might be wondering how to start using your VAT returns in Exchequer if you currently have not used them. So for example, if you come into here, you've never closed a VAT period and your current tax period is, is very old. So what you'd do is you'd come into here and you'd close each of the periods one at a time until you get where you need to be. 
Time in here is really important, so I'd advise that you use your current method to complete your current return. And then before any transactions are added into Exchequer for your new return, come into here and close each period up until the one that you need. Now, be careful not to go too far with the periods that you close in, because in Exchequer you can't reopen a VAT period, so you can't go back. If you are needing to catch up and close your periods, it might be worth taking a backup before you do that. Once you've got to your current open return, simply start adding transactions onto the system and follow all of the steps that we've been through in this video. So that pretty much covers how to process a VAT return within Exchequer. As always, if you've got any questions, please don't hesitate to contact the HBP Group Support Desk. And thank you for listening.